Thanksgiving weekend is traditionally a time for feasting and family. But in tonight's News Extra, Joey Chen reports it's also a time for some refugees from Vietnam to reflect on their new world of opportunities. They would think in life. 20-year-old Zhao Vo often stumbles over the words, but has no trouble understanding the pilgrims' feelings on their first Thanksgiving. In late August, he arrived here with a couple he knows as his parents, the biological son of a Vietnamese woman and an American GI. Zhao was abandoned when he was only three days old. But Zhao and 11 other Amerasian children were taken in by Hiep Diem and his wife. Despite her disability, she worked as a seamstress to support her extended family. I know that's too much for me, but because I love and care about them, that's why I don't mind to work hard to, to raise them. But after the communists took control of their country, life became more difficult for the family. They could not practice their Catholic faith, and despite Yep's work as an accountant, they suffered financially. Eventually, the other Amerasian children were adopted, and after a decade of attempts to get out of Vietnam, the family was allowed to come here. With the help of church sponsors, Yep found work as a maintenance man at his apartment complex. Zhao is now working as an assistant to his sponsor, who says that while he helps the family, they help him realize the luxury of freedom in the country they came to so bravely. Well, there was fear in that uh, there was the unexpected and the unknown, but I think there was also hope, and the hope was bigger than the fear. Do you know what that is? The family works hard at English lessons, hoping to get better jobs and to be able to express their appreciation to the sponsors who've helped them make a home here. On kinds of how we're so thankful to be here. In this new world, these pilgrims didn't find streets paved with gold, but with opportunity and freedom, luxuries they've never known. Joey Chen, 11 Alive News. Many local churches sponsor refugee families, helping them to set up households and improve their English. And after five years in the U.S., they can apply to become citizens. Hmm. Well, the weekend weather forecast is coming up next with Rebecca. Stay with us.